Hello and welcome to everyone. Today in front of me I have two identical AliExpress impact wrenches which both claim to be 510 newton meters. Now if you've seen my previous review of these you would know that they can undo a uh, wheel bolt so they're not that underpowered. However uh, there has been a request in the comments to see if I can tune them up a bit using a genuine Makita spring in the impact mechanism. So I aim to please, and in today's video, we'll see if we can do that. Now these impacts also have an anvil, which has a place for a quarter inch hex bit. And I would like to see if using this solid anvil, we can make some gains too. So let's get into it. Don't lose these, we're gonna need them. Oops, mistake. Oh, not too bad. Now let me show you the new spring that we're going to be using. This is the genuine Makita spring that's going to go into this impact wrench. And this is the one that we pulled out. Around a three millimeter thickness. And this is the genuine Makita one going more towards the four millimeter mark. In any case, it is slightly thicker than the one we pulled out. This is the original spring that was in the impact. And this is the Makita spring. And let's see what the weigh scale says about the anvils. This is the solid one. And this is the one that we pulled out. So for the first round of testing, it will be the original one going back in, and then we'll replace it with this one. There you have it. 
we have replaced the Gisam, or whatever you call it, spring with the genuine Makita one. Time to reassemble everything back up. So now I suggest we mark this with an X for experimental because we don't know what the consequences are going to be. Now as you know this is a very low budget channel so the best way I have of testing these is to screw in bolts into a very old rusty hub and then try and unscrew them with the other unmodified impact wrench. Okay let's tighten them with the experimental GSM impact wrench and see if the other one can undo them. These are the settings we're going to use, large and three bars. Time to try and unscrew them with the unmodified version. Okay, trying the unmodified version. Unscrewing with the modified version. Let's see if we can find any difference here. 210 newton meters on a wheel bolt. Modified going first. Unmodified. Let's try the modified one on that bolt. Let's re-tighten it first, just to make sure. Now it does look like there are some gains here, however, a worrying sign is that the modified version does not want to start up every single time you press the trigger. Let's see if I can make it do that.
one final time just to make sure and then we will move on to the solid anvil. Modified impact. and unmodified impact. Got there in the end. However, looks like the modified one can unscrew a tighter bolt. Just for reference, let's see what the Parkside can do with 210 newton meters. Max settings, which is 400 newton meters in this case, full 4 amp battery. I guess now it's time to try the solid anvil. Still experimental, so marker stays. So again, it's going to be 210 Newton meters. Not a chance, and it's starting to shake itself to pieces. Non-modified version. I think this video is starting to turn into a how to ruin your AliExpress impact wrench video. However, I will not give up. Okay, that's not good. Let's see what happens. I think I've got just a way to look into the situation, literally. I guess we'll have to use another AliExpress tool. Let's make a window into this impact wrench. Quality discs. Shop AliExpress. Always use some lubrication. Now after all that, let's see how they used up their batteries. This is the non-modified impact wrench. The battery used on the non-modified impact, which is at 20.3. The 
battery used on the modified impact. That one uses more battery. However, in terms of power, I don't know, maybe 10 Newton meters, 15 or 20 at most, more than the non-modified. To me, what this demonstrates is that the weak link is most probably the motor. Something that I once heard on TV applies very nicely to what I managed to do here today. Ambitious, but rubbish. I wouldn't try doing this again. I don't recommend you try it either. It's not worth the trouble. Just use it as it is.